Mark, Mark, right? That's your name, Mark. I was talking with Mark to try to figure out what, what he had in mind for us tonight. Now I got it. That's I'm going to do this. I'm on. Yeah, I know, but talk, I, you and I were talking. Remember that? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So now that I get Daryl's concept here where he, he doesn't know the key and doesn't know the name of the song, he doesn't know the song, I'm going to do a song that I forgot that I wrote. <laughs> wow, they think I love you. Okay. You know, this is, I, I knew this was going to be a dangerous stage. You're going to learn a lot there, son. My sandals are older than you right now. And I, you, how old are you, by the way? Can I ask? 34. Jeez. <laughs> I got 31 years on them. I'm not your dad. Um, this, this is, when, we, when you're doing songwriting over the years, you know, there's many different phases. And back in the old days, you know, uh, like when Truman was president, you know, you would write songs and kind of talk about your life. So I did this song many, many years ago. It was about, you know, when I was a hippie and then I you know, discovered John Denver and all that. And I, I left the business in 86 for a few years to actually make some money. And then I realized that I never completed the song. Did my, my guitar is off? Is that my chord? Oh, there we are. Ooh, found it. And I realized that I had to write the last verse of this thing to even bring it in several decades. So I wrote the last verse here for tonight, but we'll do the rest of the song as I would normally do. Shaggy and long. I ate anything that gave me a craving. A banana roll or a pencil shaving. Smoked anything that I would find laying on the lawn. <laughs> well, I packed my bags and I went to college to seek the pinnacles of knowledge. To protest the war, the draft, and segregation. But as I watched the hippies stand and holler on, do they all get a ring around the collar at the land of a job with the U.S. Corporation? Where 
my life ago. Well, I'm here tonight and so are you. And you might have had something better to do, but I'm happy as hell you're here to see our show. I'm Dr. John Hewitt Race. Label out that real fast pace. Stay one step ahead of me and rather boring. I've got to keep on stealing if it's rubber. Even if it makes a little cover. I just can't stand being another pretty fan. <laughs> Who does your choreography? Oh, you love it. <laughs> At my age, that's the only thing that moves like that. It's all about the choreography, brother. <laughs> Motown is alive in Florida. Yeah, it's, 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 the, the one leg dragging your leg. Is <laughs> Stanky, but <buddy. laughs> Well, Steve, you're yeah. from Detroit, right? Right outside of Detroit? Yeah. From Detroit. And you said your favorite writers are Lennon and McCartney? Lennon and McCartney, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Well, what you going to do for us? Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a next song called uh, Match Made in Purgatory. Hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 